All right, we're going to start um, introducing some shortcuts into the perspective drawing. Um, instead of drawing our, our horizon line uh, all the way across the page for clarity, what we're going to do is imply the horizon line and just draw two parts of it. Um, because that's all we need really to make sure that our that our vanishing points go out into the distance. So we're going to be working with two-point perspective again. Um, and we're going to explore um, adding some details to uh, to basic shapes in two-point perspective. Alright, so we're going to do the same thing we've already been doing. We're going to construct back to our vanishing points. So now you should be thinking in three dimensions that this isn't an angle on a page, this is a, uh, a line receding in space. Okay. Going all the way back, however long. Okay, so this is this just kind of is a way to clean up your, uh, your drawings. I'm going to pick a couple of parallel lines just to bind this. All right. So this is nice and clean, um, and for the sake of clarity, because we're going to add some details, I'm not going to draw back to the uh, back to the horizon line. But what you should do is, in your head, you should be able to visualize this line at any time and know that that's there. Okay. So let's say we wanted to put a, uh, a door, or some kind of architectural detail on to uh, this part of the. Um, onto this plane right here. Um, we're going to use what we've already gone over in a previous video. We're going to um, find the center of it by drawing an X from point to point of this plane from corner to corner. Um, and that's going to give us the center. Assuming that these are nicely parallel, which they may or may not be. It's not a big deal. Um, Alright, so we found our center line. Um, uh, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to draw a little uh, a little teeny doorway. Um, so what I'm going to do is visualize this as maybe being a seven foot tall doorway, and it's going to go right here. So I'm going to make sure that that line is going out to the out to the vanishing point. Um, this would be like if you're standing on top of another building nearby. Now we know that. This that our center is this plane uh, is actually a little bit wider than this plane if we're, if we're thinking in two dimensions, but in three dimensions they're equal. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure when we drop the uh, drop the verticals on this doorway that uh, this plane is going to be a little wider than this plane. Okay. And there's, you don't have to be too scientific about those, those divisions, um, just as long as you're as you're following that rule. Um, now, let's say this doorway was um, inset slightly. Um, what you would do is draw the inset back to the opposite vanishing point, and that's really all you need because uh, that little that little horizontal back there. So now we've created a little inset in the doorway, and this inset is going to go back to uh, vanishing point as well. So now we've kind of created a little uh, a doorway that sets back into uh, into this little uh, this solid, um, and you can go to any level of, of detail. Just follow follow the rules that if you drop a uh, a vertical. Um, if anything is going to recede uh, into the building, it's going to go uh, to that vanishing point. Right? So let's say this were a bigger doorway and it had a hallway in it. Now one thing, how tall does that line have to be? It's pretty simple. All you're going to do is say, well, I like this height of the line. So to find the edge of that doorway, or opening, we're just going to uh, take it back to the uh, take it back to the horizon line. 
project from the horizon line to that point over to the next one. So now we found uh, this little doorway. And since this is above, you're going to be able to see slightly inside that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that point and draw it back to the uh, back to the same vanishing point as we did this. So now we have the suggestion of uh, <coughs> of an interior space inside this building. Now if we were to really draw it through, we would say, well, maybe we want to know exactly where the end of that interior space is. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw through the form. Right? Obeying our rules about going back to the horizon line. So this, you want to visualize as being actually inside the building. This, these aren't lines that are outside it. Um, so if we wanted to say this is like an alcove or something, what we're going to do is simply follow the rules and take this point and drop it back to the horizon line until we intersect. Okay, do the same thing here. You notice that we'll be intersecting this line. Okay. So if we were to draw to complete the idea of drawing through the form, our alcove would be just beyond our point of view. Because this uh, the edge of this plane is in the way. Alright. So that's a little start on adding details. Um, and what you want to do is uh, start observing buildings, uh, start drawing real objects in real space and uh, that'll get you get you started adding detail.